Warning, this video includes huge Hawkeye episode 2 spoilers. If you haven't seen the episode on Disney Plus yet, subscribe to our channel and check back later. The first two episodes of Hawkeye have already been broadcast, and Clint Barton's first solo appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has already prompted a lot of questions. After being caught up in an explosion, Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, donned the Ronin costume for a brief while. However, it appears that this decision will have a significant impact on the rest of the series, as it attracts the attention of a criminal organization and places Hawkeye and Kate in the crosshairs of a mystery new character. But, towards the end of episode 2, who is that new face? In this video, we go over everything. The ending of the episode 2 of Hawkeye. Clint is purposefully kidnapped by the tracksuit mafia in order to resolve the matter as they've been pursuing Kate under the false assumption that she's Ronan. Unfortunately, the young archer doesn't receive the memo and rushes in to save Clint. That results in both of them being apprehended as the tracksuits leave to find their mysterious boss, who is definitely interested in Hawkeye. Who is that mystery character? That enigmatic figure turns out to be Alacqua Cox's Echo, also known as Maya Lopez. We don't know what she wants with Hawkeye and Kate right now, during his time as Ronan, the Avenger made a lot of enemies, and it appears that the tracksuits want vengeance for whatever he did to them. Echo was the first person to take on the Ronan persona in Marvel Comics, and she was fostered by Kingpin. Echo's vendetta could tie in with a potential Kingpin appearance, as Vincent D'Onofrio, who played the criminal lord in the Daredevil Netflix series, has already sparked talk via social media that he'll appear in the series. If that's the case, Echo could be unhappy that her Ronan identity was stolen. Renner told Games Radar Plus about Clint's background as Ronan. There wasn't a lot portrayed of what happened during those years. Right? When he embodied the character, which came from losing his family. A lot of his past catches up with him, which has an impact on the tale. It's a deeply ingrained issue, one that's both tragic and serious, and one that's handled in the show. After Hawkeye, Echo will get her own spin-off series, suitably dubbed Echo. Clearly, her tale will not be wrapped up cleanly in these six episodes. In the meantime, their connection remains a mystery until episode 3, which will presumably shed more light on what Hawkeye has done to irritate Echo. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.